The Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act of 1994 introduced an innovative, unique office to the country, specifically to advance community policing and reduce crime in state, local, tribal, and territorial communities. The Office of Community-Oriented Policing Services, better known as the COPS Office, became the first component of the U.S. Department of Justice dedicated solely to serving the needs of law enforcement to reduce crime and maintain public safety. The COPS Office's initial goal was simple, to put 100,000 more officers on the streets and in so doing to reduce crime. In addition, the office promised to offer training, technical assistance, and other resources to help support law enforcement agencies across the country and engage community to promote accountability and co-responsibility for public safety. In 1994, the COPS Office was created and four hiring programs were launched. Between them, more than $894 million was awarded, resulting in agencies hiring more than 12,900 community policing officers. In 1995, the COPS Office launched the Universal Hiring Program and awarded $10 million in the grants through the Youth Firearms Violence Initiative. In 1996, the COPS Office launched the Anti-Gang Initiative and the Community Policing to Combat Domestic Violence Program. In 1997, the COPS Office launched a nationwide network of regional community policing institutes. In 1998, the COPS Office funded 75,000 new community policing professionals nationwide. In 1999, the COPS Office launched the Tribal Resources Grants Program. Within five years, the COPS Office fulfilled its initial pledge by awarding federal funds to support the hiring of 100,000 new officers, deputies, and troopers. To date, the COPS Office has been appropriated more than $20 billion to advance community policing, including grants awarded to more than 13,000 state, local, territorial, and tribal law enforcement agencies to fund the hiring and redeployment of approximately 138,000 officers. Not only does the COPS Office fund the hiring and rehiring of law enforcement professionals through direct programs like the COPS Hiring Program, but it also funds a number of other initiatives, including training, technical assistance, publications, and other resources to advance the practice of community policing and strengthen our community's public safety. In 2000, the COPS Office announces its justice-based, after-school, and value-based initiatives programs. In 2001, COPS supports the NYPD and Arlington County Police Department as they respond to the September 11th attacks. In 2002, $154 million was awarded through the COPS Technology Program. In 2003, COPS launches the Homeland Security Overtime Program and awards $59.6 million to 294 law enforcement agencies. In 2004, more than $82 million in grants is awarded to 23 communities in 17 states to develop interoperable communication networks. In 2005, the COPS Office provided $193 million to support tribal law enforcement agencies and community court initiatives. In 2006, the COPS Office awarded $14.8 million in grants to 174 law enforcement agencies to enhance school safety. In 2007, the COPS Office distributes its millionth technical assistance publication to the law enforcement field. Through the years, the COPS Office has become the go-to resource for law enforcement agencies across the country and continues to listen to the field and provide the resources needed to reduce crime and build trust between law enforcement and the communities served. It is the only component in the DOJ that has policing in its name, which reinforces its stature in the department as a vital component responsible for the law enforcement portfolio. In 2008, the COPS Office launched the Child Sexual Predator Program to locate, arrest, and prosecute these offenders. In 2009, the COPS Office awarded $1 billion in Recovery Act funding to hire, rehire, or retain 5,000 law enforcement positions in a matter of months. In 2010, the COPS Office moved to the new Tucon building on its 16th anniversary, and the DOJ launched the Coordinated Tribal Assistance Solicitation. In 2011, the COPS Office and the Bureau of Justice Assistance formed the National Officer Safety and Wellness Group and the COPS Office introduced the Community Policing Self-Assessment Tool. In 2012, the COPS Office released a collaborative form review of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, listing 75 findings and recommendations. 
regarding officer-involved shootings and use of force issues and quickly becoming a key resource. By 2013, the COPS Office had disseminated more than 2 million training and technical assistance publications to the law enforcement field. In 2014, in the wake of mass protests, the COPS Office delivered technical assistance to Ferguson Police Department and the surrounding agencies through the Collaborative Reform Program. In 2015, the COPS Office led the President's Task Force on 21st Century Policing, with COPS Director Davis appointed as the Task Force Executive Director. In 2016, the COPS Office was assigned the honor of overseeing the DOJ's implementation of the National Blue Alert Act of 2015. Starting in 2016, the COPS Office began to administer the Attorney General's Award for Distinguished Service in Community Policing, which recognizes individual, state, local, or tribal rank-and-file officers, deputies, and troopers for exceptional efforts in policing that keep our community safe. In 2017, the COPS Office launched the Preparing for Active Shooter Situations program. Launched in 2017 with just five trainings and resources on community policing, the COPS Training Portal now boasts more than 45 trainings and resources directly supporting the law enforcement field. The portal now serves as a cornerstone of the COPS Office's training and technical assistance portfolio and reached a major milestone with 100,000 enrollments in April of 2024. In 2018, Congress passed the Stop School Violence Act. In 2019, the COPS Office launched the Law Enforcement Mental Health and Wellness Act program. Additionally, the President's Commission on Law Enforcement and the Administration of Justice was established, and COPS Director Keith was appointed as its co-chair. In 2020, the COPS Hiring Program awarded $400 million to 605 law enforcement agencies to hire 2,761 additional full-time law enforcement positions. In 2021, the Community Policing Development Program funds increased to $35 million to focus on micro-grants, crisis intervention teams, de-escalation training, accreditation, and tolerance, diversity, and anti-bias training. In 2022, the COPS Office Collaborative Reform Initiative is revamped and expanded to include a continuum of three distinct levels of technical assistance services. The continuation of the Collaborative Reform Initiative Technical Assistance Center, or CRITAC, an updated critical response program and an updated organizational assessment program. In 2023, the COPS Office held a convening to review the current state of law enforcement recruitment and retention to explore ways they can be modernized to meet the needs of today's agencies, communities, and workforce. We also held a series of convenings to discuss specialized units in state, local, tribal, and territorial law enforcement agencies and create guidance for those agencies' leadership to consider when forming, managing, and disbanding such units. In 2024, the COPS Office completed the U.S. Department of Justice Review Report the Critical Incident Review Active Shooter at Robb Elementary School. Community policing has never been more important than it is today, as it supports public safety by encouraging all stakeholders to work together. It is those efforts that strengthen our nation's ability to maintain safe and thriving communities. The COPS Office places a particular priority on listening to the challenges of our nation's 18,000 law enforcement agencies to address their common needs through providing additional resources, training, technical assistance, and research to improve current practices. While we have accomplished a tremendous amount, there is much work that remains, and the COPS Office is excited to continue to play a critical role for law enforcement. With the tremendous support of our law enforcement stakeholders, as well as our congressional support, the COPS Office continues to serve the needs of law enforcement across the country. Supporting law enforcement is our mission we are proud of the ways we have done that and excited about what we will accomplish in the years to come. Congratulations. Congratulations.